Listen, I wanted to. Okay, I wanted to share something with you. I'm dressed like this because we're just coming from a, a funeral. And I'm in a, a town called Crosserville. And um, my nephew would tell us about Crosserville. But I came here, oh, I, I don't know how many years ago. But I remember being um, intrigued, learning that Liberia was settled by uh, those who had been enslaved in the States and came here, but not knowing that there are different populations of folks of African descent who settled in what we now know as Liberia. One of those folks are people from the, uh, from the islands, from the West Indies, Barbados. So this is a monument in Crosserville that is erected um, in 1965 by President Tubman. And this says, this monument is erected to the sacred memory of the immigrants from Barbados in the West Indies who landed near this spot um, and then have in parenthesis the Receptacle Creek. So maybe there was a creek here. I don't know. Um, they landed here on May 10th, 1865. Um, that's during the Civil War in the States, I believe. And it's, well, it's, I believe the Civil War had ended because I believe the Emancipation Proclamation, I think was signed in 1865, but I'll check my own, my dates on the history. But this is, they landed here during the administration of President Daniel B. Warner and founded the settlement that we now know as Crosserville. So th there were folks who came from the West Indies who settled in what we now know in Liberia and the folks, these folks from Barbados in the West Indies, Al Potter, uh, these are some of your forefathers and foremothers. They came from the West Indies and settled in this spot that we now know as Crosserville. And here's a picture um, that kind of, that is beautiful, that commemorates them as well. Um, and so this, this monument was built 100 years later in 1965 to commemorate our forefathers and mothers who came from the West Indies, Barbados, the West Indies, and settled what we now know as Liberia. So Liberia was settled um, by those who had been enslaved or, or and or born free, who were black from the United States. They were settled by those from um, the Caribbean, um, not just Barbados, but other places as well. And I'll do some research and find that out. They were also settled by, at, uh, by let me see, the 1820s, I, I believe slave trade, not slavery, but the slave trade was illegal, I believe in the US and in Europe. Um, and so folks who were selling, who were trafficking if you will, Africans from here, from the Western shores of this continent to other places were actually um, involved in illegal trafficking. I would say the first slavery was legal trafficking, but this was illegal trafficking. And so um, I'm learning from Dr. Burroughs that folks who settled here um, partnered with some of the indigenous folks to actually form a coalition to try to prevent, to inhibit, uh, to de uh, detract from human trafficking, right? So when folks, when they caught, when they intercepted boats that had Africans on them, they were, that they were taken to sell into, into slavery, they'd intercept those boats. They would set those captive folks free. And then because they didn't know where they were from and those folks couldn't tell them where they were from, they brought them here to what is now known as Liberia. So Liberia was indeed a land of liberty, not just for folks from the States, but from the Caribbean and also those folks who were on their way being sold into slavery and those slave ships were intercepted. So just another piece of history here, this monument built in Crosserville um, to our, our ancestors from the West Indies. And who, um, Al, did you say is Crosserville named after? Um, Dr. Samuel A. Crusoe. So Dr. Samuel A. Crusoe, or Crusoe? Yeah. Okay, and what, does, what did he do, do you know? Uh, he was actually a doctor sent um, by the ACS along with the um, free slaves. Okay, so Dr. Samuel Crosser was, had been enslaved himself, was free, and sent here to practice as a medical doctor when some of the folks came from the States. We're gonna learn all kind of history, people. So anyway, I, this, look, you see the ship up there? Did you show them the ship uh, representing the, the ship? And I wonder that X, we gotta find out what that X is for, what flag that is that they're flying. So anyway, 
Does it look like Scotland? Or maybe it's maybe it's Barbados. Yeah. So, because Barbados, I think I think those islands were colonized by the British. So thank you again. Um, we'll be back on soon. But there's another little bit of Liberian history and information that we wanted to share. God bless.